Well, before I go to the foundry, I'm printing out a few pictures showing uh, the rope arrangement on the uh, horses. Uh, I took that off before they, uh, when I left it off to the uh, foundry, uh, only because I figured we'd attach them once uh, we got to the uh, bronze. And uh, that's what I'm going in early for, to attach these uh, ropes. And I'm sorry my picture isn't that steady, but I'm holding paper here. But I'm just uh, basically uh, printing out uh, how I had the ropes initially. And uh, it's kind of hard to see it. I'll, uh, so uh, right now I'm getting ready to uh, get out of here at 6.25 in the morning. And uh, I'm going to take a quick shower and then jump in the car and head out. It's about 29 degrees outside, I think. Well, the temperature's gone up a bit. It's 33 degrees now. It's uh, 7.04, and I should be in it there about 8 o'clock. I'm not sure which planet that is up there above the uh, mountains, but uh, there's one star or planet. I think it's flick. I, I don't know. It's flickering. It could be a star. The only thing that scares me about driving in the dark are the uh, wildlife that sometimes jump in front of you. Over the last uh, five years, I've hit two deer, and it ain't fun. And uh, all it takes is a big elk, and it can come right through your windshield and kill you instantly. <laughs> Those are the thoughts that are going through my mind right now as I'm driving in the dark. I hate it. All right, this is the bronze. It's uh, all put together. We just got to put the uh, the reins on the horse and uh, horses. And then we'll start coloring this uh, bronze. They did a beautiful job of working on this bronze. I can't touch it right now because it's uh, sandblasted and it would leave oil on the uh, piece. Uh, Elaine, here with the, the foundry, filled in a lot of holes and stuff and uh, did a great job doing it too. This is Elaine. She's the uh, lady that uh, filled in little crevices and cracks that I didn't uh, see or fill in so that it wouldn't cost me so much uh, in the mold room to cast or make a mold of uh, approaching storm. Thanks, Elaine. You're welcome, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Micah is the guy that's going to be uh, adding the uh, reins to the horse or the horses. What he's doing right now is making the rope, which is made from uh, or bronze wire. This is Micah. You can make the rope yourself out of uh, copper wire at home. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Cool. Yeah, that's about the right size, too. I didn't want anything really thin. Micah is uh, heating the copper to uh, soften up the, uh, the range so that he can make them you know, bend easy and with a little more fluid. Putting the final touches on the uh, tacking. It's all black. It's going to have to all be sandblasted. We're doing it right now, Mike is attacking the uh, last uh, rein to the horse so that uh, in the gallery or people don't grab it and pull it away from the horse and it's sticking in the wrong direction that the wind is blowing. We're going to color this tomorrow morning instead of uh, today. We're just running out of daylight and time and it's going to take several hours to color it. It's got to be sandblasted to get rid of all that black and clean it up. All right, we got uh, this piece uh, is ready to go next, 
And then we got another piece of this going, and uh, we'll be getting all this stuff down pat. Uh, so, see you all tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.